Hey Roosters and welcome back for another video. Today we're going to be opening up some more universes cards sent to us by UVS Games. They decided to send us these cards out of the greatness of their heart, so we gotta show it off to you guys. Um, for you guys to enjoy and for really me to enjoy too, because obviously I like this game. Before we get into the unboxing itself, I gotta tell you some things. Um, UGN, Universal Gaming, um, Universal, Universes Gaming Network, is going to be a site that's going to allow you to find different ways to play, find different tournaments happening in your local area or online for you to compete in and it's a really good um, resource but the biggest reason i'm talking about it right now is because uvs has given me a deal to offer to you guys if you're new coming to that site if you haven't signed up yet go and sign up because it's going to allow you to find different places to play um uh, universes in your local area right and then also if you do that and when you do that and you decide to tell them that you got came there from from obsidian roost right and you tell them that it was a content creator that sent you and that, that content creator was me you'll gain a nice 50 um point bonus and these points you can use to buy or these coins you can use to this currency you can use to buy and just essentially get free cards on the website so it's a big opportunity that they decided to offer to you guys and i think you think if you haven't signed up yet you can take full advantage of it to gain that benefit for doing so and then of course Go, and go out and play in your local game store, play online, play events, gain more coins to use and to gain different free promo cards from the site. It's an absolutely great deal, and I think you should take advantage of it. I know I did. So, that being said, let's open up Trigun Stampede. Um, uh, oh, I should read the back of the box, because I didn't do that with some... Uh, cowboy bebop at first right and i kind of destroyed the box before i read it uh i should do that before we crack into this right back of the box it has a lot of different information on it trigon stampede challenger series and a challenger series essentially is going to be a, a set of cars that does not have an exact booster set related to it it's essentially a deck like a clash deck except it's not going to come with a booster box so there's no booster set to come with the trigon stampede if you want trigon stampede cards for now this is the only way to get them right and so you're going to buy this um, challenger series and you're going to get two different character cards to play as because obviously there's no set connected to this so they're going to give you some other options if you don't like the main character bash here right so then they're also going to get um um vash St the, the stampede and D nicholas d wolfwood because we're done we're past the age of numbers or dots right we're moved on to titles and so in this you're also going to get a boost a collector's booster which is going to have a random assortment of cards also found in this deck but they're going to be alternate art and little little like a little cool looking you know a, a benefit for getting them they're going to sort of look like um extra rares from um or extra cards from the normal booster sets but um you can also get some really cool alt arts um they're all going to be alternate art but you can get some really cool alt arts in the pack right so it's going to have um um it says it on the pack so I'll, we'll talk about that when we get there right so i mean you can play this deck in two ways you can play as vash or you can play as nicholas d wishwood you can choose vash as your character to be the fastest pacifist gunslinger around or use nicholas d wolfwood to preserve and sh to persevere and show why your arrival will need to take need an undertaker um so there you go trigon stampede if you're a fan of the uh original anime or if you're a fan of the i believe this came out on netflix the, the the one this takes inspiration art inspiration from um if you're a fan of either of those two things this is a perfect set for you um i just like uh cowboy bebop i know nothing about this show but i do know people are pretty excited to see this um come out there's the collector pack uh there you go six alt art cards i believe Three will be common, three will be uncommon, and three will be rare. Or rather, three will be common, two will be uncommon, one will be rare. Because if you just three all the way around, math doesn't add up. Six cards cannot equal nine, right? So here's a little sheet of different cards you can get inside of the set, I believe. Um, got a little Vash Stampede, Nicholas Wolfwood. And here's the different cards. I'm not going to go over them here because I can go over them other places. But it also tells you how many copies of each card you can get. So you can get four, five of this, four of this card, two of that card, three of that card, as so forth and so forth. So on and so forth. And then you're going to get, this tells you about the um, uh, the, the boot, collector's booster. Enhance your deck with alt art, foil, trigon stampede cards found only in the trigon stampede collector's booster. Each collector's booster pack contains six cards. One card of a rare, rarity, rare, lord. 
rarity, rare, or higher, two uncommons, and three commons. Here are some examples of the different cards in the set. I'd say if I wanted, if, if I had a wish list of any of them, it's definitely going to be that alt art Nicholas D. Wolfwood. Not to say that the alt art Vash is bad, but if you want to see what the alt art Vash's art is, I believe it's this. But this is the Nicholas art right there, and those are the real arts versions. So I think it's pretty obvious that... Um, for me, the, the Nicholas one's a little bit better. Not to say that you don't have, you have, you don't have to view it that way. It's not a fact, but it is in my opinion. And, um, the day I stopped destroying packaging just to get to, um, uh, the cards at the bottom will be, a uh, it will be a great day. But sadly, that day is not today. Just like the, 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 Cowboy Bebop box, that box is destroyed. Bash Stampede. Let's get into it. Hopefully this video will be a little shorter than the Cowboy Bebop one, because the Cowboy Bebop one, I, I went through and I tried to um, talk about every card in the set. And that takes forever. Even without a booster set full of cards to talk about, it takes a long time. And though I'm not going to try to speed run them through, like when I was opening the booster set, I think maybe it would be a little cool to leave some cards for you to just pause and read if you care about them. And if you don't, then you just don't have to worry about it wasting your time me talking about them right um so here's the main character i will read this down because it's the character of the box he has six hand size to um, 28 health bash stampede obviously he has a title um enhanced tenacious which means you can use this while you're committed mill one your attack is plus two speed um uh despite milling being obviously a cost it's a pretty free enhance especially because you even if you're committed you can activate it so i really like this first enhance here to gain the plus two speed and then he has enhance commit discard one attack draw three cards a couple things to note about this usually when you want to draw cards on your turn it's because you want more attack so obviously discarding your attack um slightly works against that but um when you're drawing three cards in one ability ability then you don't really have to worry about that too much because Three cards is a, um, it's a pretty decent amount of cards, especially when you're only losing one card to get it. That's a net two cards, right? And, of course, you have to commit your character, which is going to be Bash. But I don't think it's a really big cost to use that ability, especially because this is other enhance is uh, tenacious. Obviously, you won't be able to use him to pass a check. But other than that, I mean, it's not that bad. I really like that second ability, and the first ability is pretty cool, too. Honestly, he's uh, he's pretty interesting. Obviously, we have to get into Nicholas D. Wolfwood, but I like this guy a lot. Oh, wow. Especially when you hit the, 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 the what do you call that? The angle, and his eyes sort of shine like that. That's nice, dude. I really like how they actually did the foiling. I didn't really look at the Cowboy Bebop foiling too much, but this one is nice. I really like that shot right there. Um, if I could, that might end up being on the thumbnail. But anyway, you also do it like the opposite way and darken out the sunglasses, and like you can't really see his eyes. I like that. I like that a lot. All right. Into the other guy, which is also equally cool in my opinion, um, design-wise. But let's see if I like him or Vash more ability-wise, right? So another six-hander with 28 health. He has, um, um, I forgot to talk about the symbols. He has all death and fire. Um, he has all death and life, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, all death and life. Yeah, so all death and life and then all death and fire. So, actually, they both, um, he shares a symbol with, uh, um, Spike. That's pretty cool. Spike was, um, Earth, Life, and Water. So, they both share the Life symbol. So, if you buy both these sets, that means you can interchange the, um, uh, some of the cards in the deck. Pretty cool, right? So, anyway, where are we going with this? <sighs> Nicholas D. Wolfoy. Mill 1, your ranged weapon attack is plus 2 damage. It's a counterpart to that one, but a little bit more of a restriction on it. But a little bit more of a benefit. Three is obviously a bigger number than two, right? Obviously, also, this doesn't have tenacious on it, which means if you happen to be committed, you're not going to be able to use that ability. But the second enhance doesn't actually commit him. It's just discard the momentum after the combat phase begins. You get to draw two cards and gain one health. Obviously, two cards is less than three cards, but you don't have to commit him to do it. And you also get the two health benefit. Whoa. That's crazy. Sorry about that little bit of a technical difficulty. Um, so yeah, you don't have to, um, gain the, you don't have to commit, but you do have to discard the momentum, which means although you can still use the top enhance, even without it being tenacious, it's a little bit, it acts probably a little bit more of you than his second enhance does. 
Um, which one do I like better? Uh, for a new player, obviously, Bash is just far 10 times better. It's just 10 times better for a new player to use Bash than it is to, for them to use um, Nicholas. But at the same time, I'm really excited to see um, how Nicholas ends up playing. Because um, getting momentum isn't crazy hard to do, right? Um, um, it's pretty easy once you get a hang of the game. Um, comparatively to how it may seem at first. Uh, but I do think I was asking for a momentum every turn to get that ability. It's not as good as just saying commit your character, which you get to do every turn regardless of what's going on in the game. Okay, so first card uh, in action. It's a rare, quote unquote. Um, avoiding conflict. Remove after this attack enter after this card enters your, your discard pile during the enhanced step. The attack is plus two damage or minus two speed. Place this card on the bottom of your deck. Draw one card. That's the enhanced. Place this card on the bottom of the deck. Draw one card. Obviously, despite what I first thought when I read this card, it doesn't really work with um his ability here because you must discard one attack to draw those three cards. So you can't discard this. And then go ahead and, oh goodness gracious, draw the three cards and then as well as get this plus two damage um, uh, um, uh, benefit. But uh, it's still a pretty cool card. If it, um, I know there's other ways because when you mill this, it can hit, hit the top of the deck and uh, you can then get the benefits that way. But I thought it was, initially I thought it was supposed to go with, sorry about that, sorry with the second enhance here, but it's supposed to go with the first enhance. So, um, obviously, action card in the set. Uh, like I said in the Cowboy Bebop video, they're adding these color cards, like action and assets, that you don't usually get in starter decks um, or clash decks because there is no booster set, right? So this dimensional, um, interdimensional plant, commit, destroy my foundation, draw one card. Um, your next check is to play a card gets plus one. Obviously, you can discard more momentum and your attack will get plus three damage on game one health. Um, very in line with the Wolfwood's abilities, but it doesn't share um, the exact symbols with Wolfwood. Just something I thought I'd um, uh, point out. Inevitable Clash. Zero block modifier. A map top card, you just card to your hand. Powerful three. Um, pretty cool, especially with a base seven damage. Obviously, five speed isn't crazy high, but it's not insanely low either, like Inevitable Clash. Here's a card that I heard a lot of people gushing about. Punisher's Beam. Not only is it one of the coolest artworks in the set, but it also is a um, pretty good card. So it has Breaker 1. It has range and tech, which means you can use it with Wolf Wood, obviously. This, I believe, also has ranged. Yep. And weapon, which means you can use it with Wolf Wood. Um, so then you have a um, uh, mill 3 range. Add one range or weapon card. Mill this way to your momentum. Gaining more momentum. This is obviously a Wolf Wood card. And then enhance this attack. Deals, if, the, if this attack deals damage, destroy one rifle foundation. Um, a little bit of a disruption with your rival's game plan is never bad. Um, well, at least not bad for you. Your rival's probably going to hate you for it. Okay, then we have Counselor Plants. Flip. After this card is committed due to your rival's effect, gain one health and ready one foundation. Um, that is a little bit situational, but there's enough cards in the game that want to commit your rival's foundations. Or rather, if you're the rival in question, you are own foundations. Or rather, your foundations. That, I think that card has some merits to be played, right? The big fall, remove your rival, destroys one ready foundation. Uh, again, messing with your rivals on the game plan there is always a nice thing. Uh, three block modifier, two difficulty. I'm not that um, big into the competitive scene as in I don't really know what I'm talking about. So I'm not trying to pass judgment on all these cards. But I do have some opinions and I'd like to give them if you don't mind. So here we have um, Disabling Shot. If this card is, um, if the top card of your discard pile is an attack, this game is done too. Obviously, with his ability, you can guarantee that to be the case. But of course, as you um, mill cards and as you flip cards from the top of your deck to pay for checks, that might end up being the case without the use of the ability. But obviously, you commit your character, you discard an attack, you draw three cards, you get this done too. It's a pretty cool combo. Fan the Hammer, mill four. This attack gets plus two damage. Um, um, for each range attack mill this way. So obviously this deck has a lot of range attack because Wolfwood and and and, and Vast they just they, they're gunslingers, right? So um, it's gonna be a near hit every time, if I'm not mistaken. In this particular deck that has range, that had range, that had range, this has range itself. So um, you're gonna get potentially. I mean, obviously not every card is range because not every card is an attack. But if you flip um two attacks as a a clean um a plus two dam plus four damage, which isn't bad. Usually, you're probably going to flip one attack if you're lucky, though. 
and that's gonna be a plus one plus two damage for milling four cards it's not exactly amazing but you can hit the turns when you hit four attacks and when that happens i mean plus 16 damage is crazy merciful volley obviously has a deadlock to stun ranged weapon um enhanced mill two this heck is plus xp x equals the highest difficulty card on a card mill this way this one is going to give you an average anywhere between two to four damage i believe that's damage not speed two to four speed sorry um which is gonna bring this up to a six speed four damage attack on average uh not 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 it's not ruling the world, but a lot of these cards is hit or miss. But obviously, when you're playing a mill strategy, you're already banking on luck because if you run out of cards and you lose all, and you have to um, uh, remove cards from your deck, that will obviously you're just hoping for the best in that case. And obviously, when you're milling, you could just get rid of all your good cards. So you're already um, really kind of banking on things to go well for you in a game like Universes where you're checking top cards of your deck. Yeah, Nim nimble maneuver. Enhance, add the top card of your discard pile to the top of your deck. If you don't like the top card of your discard pile for any purpose, you can do that. Also, again, you're milling cards. You're losing cards you like. This is actually a pretty cool uh, enhance, in my opinion. You can discard a cack. If you really wanted to use that attack next turn, you can add it to the top of your deck with this. And then, boom. You won't be able to draw with that ability because that's one shot and then this will have to happen. So one of them will have to happen first. But it's still pretty cool. And you can use this to get cards back that you may have lost. Especially if you're the person personally losing them steady shot enhance if this is the top card of your discard pile it's an attack your rival loses two health and you gain two health and they can't reduce their health below one i like this one a little bit of burn in the game you know burn was never burn is never bad obviously it's a fire symbol which is a symbol of burn not just um in reality but also in gameplay decision decisions uh commit this gets plus two damage at the top card of your discard pile if the top card of your discard pile is an attack you get plus three damage instead um that can very easily be an, a cool plus three damage i like that one i mean because it won't be difficult to do so right with um vash is the main character um get the scoop flip look at the top card of your deck you may discard it obviously if it's a card you don't want to be milling with i believe it was fan the hammer and merciful volley yeah then you can get rid of them it's a foundation usually always you're going to want to dump it um Use these these attacks kind of want attacks to be in milled, but yeah, that's a pretty cool card for that. Grasping for answers, commit flip if the attack card of your deck is um a discard pile is an attack. Your next range check is minus two difficulty, and this works with the difficult the ones with low difficulty. Minus two difficulty on fan the hammer or a merciful volley turns to a two difficulty. It's pretty sweet. Um, this, sadly, I don't think this has a three difficulty attack in it like uh spikes or bebop's deck did. Motherly affection flip if the top card of your discard pile is an attack gain two health obviously that would be really easy playing fash can be done playing um uh wolfwood because when you're discarding momentum it's always almost almost always going to be an attack pitching in flip choose one card from your discard pile and place it on top of your dis what oh okay yeah flip choose one card in your discard pile place it on top of your discard pile very simple. You have a foundation on top of your discard ball. You want it to be an attack for the benefit of effects. You do that. Also, it's a six check. Pretty cool. Here we have a zero difficulty to block modifier five. Breaker one. Again, zero difficulty. Sometimes you just need them and you don't have any good ones you want to play. So things that don't do much but are pretty good number wise is always something that's pretty cool to see. Um, breaker one is obviously a pretty good effect, actually. So I like this one, too. Um... It actually shares two of the three symbols that the other zero difficulty had in the other in the Bebop deck. Seen it all. If the top card of your deck is an attack, it gets plus one. This deck is plus one speed or plus one damage, not and plus one damage, but it is a free stat, so it's pretty good. I mean, I probably would have think it was a better card if it was a uh, maybe minus plus one damage or plus one speed. That may be asking a bit much because a lot of the time you want the attacks to be on top of your deck when you're on offense, not necessarily on defense, right? So finally, we have Suspended Bounty. Commit, this attack is minus two speed, and if the top card of your deck is an attack, discard pile, sorry. If the top card of your discard pile is an attack, it gets mm, minus three speed instead. There you go. You've seen it all. I Hopefully, I got a good shot of each of them, so you can pause the, the video and check them. If you need, throughout the video, you can... Go back and read the cars a lot slower and try to understand. But I read most of them, actually. 
through to the end, which I didn't say I was going to do. I said I wasn't going to do, but I did it anyway. All right, let's open up the uh, um, collector, collector's booster pack for Trigun Stampede. So here we're going to go back to the, we're going to go to the back and peel it open clean like a bag of potato chips. Please don't do this to me now. Um, the other one came apart so well. Lord, I don't want to rip the card inside. I want to bend them up. Whoa. Okay, here we go. Let's open up the Trigun Stampede Collection Booster Pack. Three commons, two uncommons, one rare. Seeing it all is going to be our common for the, the pack. Other commons are going to be Fan the Hammer, Alt Art. Disabling Shot. Decisions, Decisions. That's going to be our first uncommon. Merciful Volley is our second uncommon. Here we go, in shot, in shot, in shot. Avoiding conflict is going to be our rare alt art. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. Obviously, out of the alternate art cards, I think Merciful Volley is going to be my favorite. Well, between these two here. Pretty cool. And that's going to be the entirety of what you're going to get inside of a Trigun Stampede Collector's um, uh, rather a challenger series deck hope you guys enjoyed today's video hope you guys come back to see more videos from us for universes we're gonna battle these two decks together um, uh, trigon stampede deck versus the bebop deck and we're gonna be using those alt art cards in it pick our favorite hero out of the two and have a lot of fun hope to see you guys there for it